Okay, let's say you've got a MacBook. Uh, this is an older MacBook, but it's got the what is known as the unibody. Most MacBooks are built in similar fashion. All right, so let's say that you're ready to go ahead and we're going to boot it up. We've got the battery installed. I'm going to hit the power button and nothing. No power, no electricity, nothing, no sound. So, okay, let's take the power cable and put it in. See, turns up green. Okay, that's good. And then it turns orange to mean that it's charging. So let's hit the uh, charge button to see if the battery is charging up. And we see here that it is charging. Looks good. Let's try again. No electricity, nothing. No sound, no nothing. Uh, first off, uh, what this means is it means that there's something wrong with the keyboard because the power button goes through the keyboard. Uh, you can replace the power button itself, uh, but that requires some gluing and ungluing. Easier fix is just to get a new keyboard or make sure that the keyboard is properly screwed in. All right, so now what we're going to do to fix this is you're going to look here at this uh, after you open up here at the bottom of your MacBook you're going to look at this little ribbon right here from the left to the right from the left we're going to attach pin 5 to pin 29 and this says 30 pins so that should make pin number 29 much easier to find what we're going to do is we're going to take a little paper clip and we're just going to gently touch pin 5 and 29 to complete the circuit. There we go! And that is how you do that. So now if we flip the MacBook over and oh what do you know? It's up. It's running Yeah, okay, so it's booting up. All right, that's how you turn on a MacBook.